Starbucks opened its first store in Seattle, Washington in 1971, selling coffee beans only. The only brewed coffee were the samples they offered. By 1982, Starbucks opened its fifth location and started selling brewed coffee. When Starbucks started serving muffins and other baked goods, their lemon loaf became a bestseller. Celebrating a 50-year success story, there, there are now more than 27,000 Starbucks in 78 countries. To make this copycat Starbucks lemon loaf, you will need three large eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of sour cream, one half cup of canola oil or vegetable oil, two tablespoons of lemon zest, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of lemon extract, one teaspoon of vanilla, one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. For the glaze, you'll need one cup of powdered sugar, one to two tablespoons of lemon juice, and a wire whisk. To get started, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and prepare your loaf pan. I like lining mine with parchment paper. Into your one and a half cups of flour, add your salt and your baking powder. Mix it with a fork and then set it aside. In a large mixing bowl, add your three eggs and the whisk well. Next, add your sugar and continue whisking. And your final addition will be your sour cream. Once the sour cream has been incorporated, it's time to add your lemon zest, about two tablespoons, your vanilla, your lemon extract, and your lemon juice. And continue beating. This is the part where technique is a little important. Once you've combined all your ingredients, you want to slowly drizzle your half cup of canola oil into the liquid whisking the entire time. And your final addition is stirring in or whisking in your flour, salt, and baking powder. Be careful not to overmix this, and it may be a little lumpy, and that's really okay. You to just pour your batter into your prepared loaf pan, and this will go into our 350 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes. To make your glaze, just keep adding lemon juice to powdered sugar until you get the consistency you're looking for. And if you get it too runny, remember add more powdered sugar. And if it's too dry, add a little bit more lemon juice. And then we'll put this glaze aside. Our beautiful loaf is out of the oven and is cooled. And now it's time to add the glaze. Spread it around the top and let it run down the sides. And voila, that's all there is to it. And now this needs to, the glaze needs to set up a little bit before we can slice it and serve it. This easy to make, citrusy, moist, and dangerously delicious copycat Starbucks lemon loaf comes together in one bowl with the simplest of ingredients. It's sure to become a family favorite.